Hi everyone, this is Mr. Fusion Designs and today we are doing another build from Hachette. This is the Batmobile Tumblr issue 11. So we will be doing six issues in this pack. So let's just have a fast look what's coming up. Oh, it's just attaching some more parts to that. And starting on our dashboard, next issue. So this is what we are getting in this box. Oh, some screws here. A lot of screws in this issue. Yeah. All metal parts except for this part. Uh, I don't think there's nothing else in there. So, oh, yeah. Oh, so, let's just get on with this. So we're working on this part. So there is three of these. Not to get confused, you could see one is a lot shorter and it's these two we would need so this way up one against like that and like that so with that we will need um screws so i think we will try uh ph o screwdriver let's see if that would fit okay um, Seems to be okay. I'm not sure if he will need oil. Let's give it a shot first. Take it from there. Things like this gets me a bit worried when you can slip. I had many accidents doing that. Well, I'm just gonna take my time here. Oh, the oil does help a lot, so I recommend putting some oil, so that's how that should look. So we have our wheel to assemble now. So let's get our parts the correct way. So we have an L, you can see the L. So with that little peg, it's facing like that. And this part, let's feed one side, oops, sorry. One side through and like this, turn upside down. Let's see if we can get a bit of this way round. So, not this way, that way round. Let's line that up just like that. And that goes through. Let's see if I could get that a bit closer for you. Hopefully that makes sense. When you do flip that over, you have this part. So as everything's dark, it's quite difficult to see. But you'll see it goes like that. Now we will need this end. Another L. It has like a D shape hole. So we just need to get that in place. That's like that. With that, it's a UM screw. Oh, that's now in place. Seems to be everything okay. Let's get on with the next part. We're working on this side now. So what we just made Let's flip this up like that. You will need to line this up to the back plate. Before we do that, let's get our screws ready. So those are AM. We will need four of these.
Great. So those are all now in place. Starting to take shape. We got this now as a shock. So hopefully you will be able quite difficult to see. You just pop that in there. And on this first location right there. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if I could get that on the close up. Just there. You will need a RP screw. Let's just take one of these out. In P going in the metal, so should be okay. Right, oh, this is a bit more difficult. Yeah, I think we got the angle. So oh, that's now in place. Let's just take out this. Flip this up here. We will need this part. So I believe it's a, s a bigger and a smaller hole. Oh, just slides in between. This section and it goes into there, it just slides in. Let's try and put this in place. I think I might need a shorter screwdriver. Let's see if I have one. This would help. And this top section it slides on, and we would need a UP. Let's try get this in place. Right, so looking really good. I think we're now we're working on to our steering column. So this is our steering column. I believe this would need to go downwards. I hope it does, because that's what we have done with the other side. But that just goes through there. And with that, we will need, I believe, no, I think it is, or was it, AP. Was it AP? Yes, it was AP. So, two AP screws. installed now and very pleased how that's taken shape so let's just put this here it's bothering me all right that comes to the end of our issue so let's move on to the next one we have issue 12 now
Let's take a look what's in this magazine. Okay. Let's see what's going on with this one. So this is our box. Got so much modding with this. I don't know. Let's see how we go. We may do. Got to be a bit more inside this pack. Interesting. Okay. So. Okay, let's get on with this one. So we have this. Some tape, M3 tape. Just need to get them in place. Let's see, like an L shape. There's a groove there. Let's follow the shape of that little corner there. That would be better than to follow the top end. Well, that's one. Stick that really well down. I'm really thinking about modding this. Because I know we can do a lot better. I'm pretty sure someone's going to do a mod. Be a shame just to leave it like that. The heat of the finger sometimes. Help it stick down a bit more. Oh, that's now... Lock down, let's try and get the backing off. Okay, great. That's one. That's two. Now with this part. So you can see, it just goes... Like that. So that's now stuck down, and that's the end of this issue. So let's get on with our next one. We have issue 13, another big box. Let's see what's coming up in this issue. These are pretty straightforward issues now. Take a look what's in here. Make sure nothing's in there. So no, that's it. Okay. Oh, let's get on with this one. We have now this section, so that's our dashboard. And turn over, you can see, and we yeah, hopefully you can see that just about. It's an L. L is telling us to use a small pot of glue on there. I just put that mat down not to make any mess on my other mat. So I'm just using normal glue, but this glue does dry clear. So just a bit in the pot. I just have pin. 
Took the idea from Wayne. Well, just a small amount. In each corner. Do the trick. Let's just put that down. Make sure that looks okay. Looks fine. Press down. That's one. We have the same thing on the other side. Just a few spots of glue. You don't need to go crazy at all. So this is the right side. Carefully line it up. Push down. And make sure it's in place. So yeah. That's now done. We have some small M3 tapes that we will need to just stick down in these sections right there. You can see there's two markings. I find it strange that they used glue on the other part and then on these parts they're not, so must be a reason for that. I'm gonna do it as they tell me. And if I decide to mod this, the easy thing is you just... I could just pop that out and easy as removing it because I didn't put a lot of glue on that at all. So remove the backing tapes. And a part that we've been working on, we need to stick that down now. So it is make sure the top end is like that, and apply just a bit of pressure on those tapes. that's it so let's get on with the next issue so this is issue 14 so I'm knocking them back now well this one's a bit more tricky to open I got it I think should be our floor to do in this issue I'm planning when I have some time actually this is really good reference oh great I have to remember this make one of those well, it seems to be we are just attaching a dashboard to that Take a look what's in the box. So this is our floor pan. I think that's all we have. Telling us CP, so I'm pretty sure that screws. <sighs> Very plasticky. 
I would really like to do something with this. Oh, you will see. So let's get on with this issue. We're now just attaching our dashboard to our floor. So it would be this way up with the markings like that. So these are CP screws that came with the pack. This let's try line this up telling us to connect the middle one first. Oh, that's the locations. Oh, one there, one there, and one there. So that's how it looks. Let's get on with the next bit. We're moving on to issue 15. So you can see really fast issues. That's excellent. Ah, working on the seat. So, let's just take a look what's inside. A few bits and pieces. Must be some screws in here. No. It's just a plastic bit. And these are the screws. in here this these are all plastic seems to be nothing else so yeah let's get on with this we're working on this part now so we have this and this part just go to the top with that we will need a UP screw. Have one ready here. Oh, just I line this up. I think that's okay. So we have these parts. They just literally push through. Trying to get a just just like that. Yes, must be like that. The same on this side. Should look like that. Now we're working on this part. So this is just this. Hopefully you can see that. Let's see if I could go a bit closer. Oh, let's slide that on. Push that through. Like tough. Like that and there's a thinner and a thicker peg you can see oh, just like that push that through oh, so far it's looking like that the other end um sorry wait that correct I think so this is the right side. Making sure that, yeah, that has to be the way. 
Sorry, I got confused because I seen some slots in there. Must be for something else. I'll line up that first and then that. Push through. And we're done. Well, and that. We have to push down this onto there. Which looks easier than you think, because it's quite difficult to see where it is. So far, that's what we have left over. I think you can manage to see how that looks. Let's get on with the next one. So our final issue, 16 for pack 5. So let me take a look at that in a bit. be building on to what no yes it is we are building on to what we just did so let's take a look so these are all plastic parts a couple of screws So let's get started with this, so this is the left side, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, oh yes, you see an L there and an L there, let's see if we could get this first time round in place, oh, I think it did. that and then with our part that we was working on oh with that little window to that side um let's just see like that with a cp screw oh, these are our cp screws Okay, so that's now that. So let's get that in place. Okay, and then this part that we had on the other issue. So just through that hole and then line that up like that. Now we have... This is the right side. See just about an R there and an R there. Same like the other one. I think that went in place. Make sure. I think so. Now we have this part. We will need to just make sure it's the same direction as this flat end. Hopefully you can see that goes like that. And I think we need to yeah, we like that. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. If 
trying to fit everything all in one place. Where was we? Like that. Where are we again? Shorts this way. Yep. And now with this. And this way. Let's try hold everything in with one hand. So the top is with a CP screw. And then I think we have our bottom sections. We have DP screws, so we will need two of these. Um, and two. A little bit more fiddly this issue, but not taken shape oh, it has movement not much but it does have so that's the end of all of our issues so let's just get back what we been working on oh, this I believe is just going the back after just get that there get that there and we have our wheels that we assembled now. Well, everything's taken shape. I would presume this will go when we're here. We will see. I try not to look on other people's builds as it takes the surprise out of when building these for me. Well, I really hope you enjoyed those issues. We have one extra part left over. And like always, if you could hit that like button and subscribe, that would be great. Look forward to seeing you all next time. Thanks a lot again. Bye.